Hello from Chinesia.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I want to I want to do this video to show you a little bit more about the Japanese bamboo flute. Uh, this is the Japanese bam bam bamboo flute. Okay. So basically, I have to wrap it up with some um, fishing lines. So these are very colorful fishing lines. And um, the reason why I need to wrap it is because it started to crack uh, after a while. So now let's take a close look up at this thing first, okay? Let me walk up and show you. Right here you can uh, see a crack, a little bit of crack. Right here, there's a crack. Right here. Okay, guys, so you see, I got some cracks here and there, and um, it's not good. So I used some super glue to glue it, and then wrap it with the fishing line to secure it, and that's the way to fix the uh, problem and prevent it from getting worse. Now, one thing I find that with uh, a lot of people handling these, if they have no experience or teacher, it is like almost impossible to blow a sound out of these things. Because the mouthpiece, as you can see, is very unique and it's super hard to blow. Not like a recorder where just, you just put it inside your mouth and, and then air will make sound, right? This one, no, you see? It will not make a sound. So, <laughs> Today I want to talk about how to um, start to mix sound with the um, Japanese flute and also I'll play a footage and give you some tips for those who want to start learning this. Uh, you can actually get a feel of how to figure it out yourself. Now I have a uh, background in Chinese flute, uh, seal and deck and that's why I can get it pretty quickly. What you want to do is know the fingering first. Okay. There are only four holes at the front, and it's kind of confusing for people sometimes because you, your common logic will want to put two fingers here, two fingers here, and you'll be like, oh, it's so hard to blow. It's so hard to move the finger. Actually, no. You put both hands, you put the middle finger between the holes and this hole, like this. The middle finger, okay, in between here. And then the other two just go on top like this. So it looks like that you're having six holes, but you're actually holding four, okay? See? And the back is holding onto this hole like this. Okay. So basically, it's only five holes that you're controlling. And you don't go by do, re, mi, fa, so, la, chi, do, that kind of style. It's only five sound. <laughs> The harder you blow, like this, the, the faster the air goes, the higher the pitch. Three octaves. You can go three octaves. Now, how do you make a sound? First thing, okay, do not cover any holes to make a sound. Put this part right here, okay, on the chin below like right here below the below the lips but above the chin right here at this spot put it here okay and then this line right here this line okay it goes right in between the lips and then now rotate it down a little bit okay. that's how you measure okay put this here Put it up so that you're uh, in, in between the lip. It's going in, be in between the lip. And then roll down. <laughs> Try to aim. Imagine this is like the barrel of a gun or something. Okay. <laughs> go. And then there's a stream of air going. Okay. You want that stream of air to hit right in the center of this line, the edge, right here. The center of this, okay? And then it cuts your air into two parts. 
50% goes on top, 50% goes inside and spiral over. And that's how the sound is made. So if you cannot do it, do not put any fingers on any hole, make a sound first. Once you can make a sound, try to put one finger at the back. One more finger. So, as you cover more holes, the difficulties will raise. Because, the problem is, okay, the, because when you blow, without any holes, the air only needs to travel from here to the first hole, which is right here at the back. So that's a short pipe that your air needs to go through. If you need to blow air and mix sound while you cover all the holes, then it means that the air needs to travel from here, down all the way here, and out the pipe. And that is harder than just having air travel a short distance. So it takes more control and it's difficult. Okay, so start from no fingers and then work your way down one, two, three, and keep on going. So that's basically the beginner's trick. Know how to position the mouth and then blow uh, down by imagining that your mouth is shooting a beam of air down and the beam of air is hitting right on the edge right here cutting it 50-50. So that is very important to know. If you blow too much air that goes on top, your sound will go uh, high pitch. If it goes too much down, it will be like a uh, very scattered kind of sound, very weak sound like this. Very weak. If you go too high, oh, too high, okay? So you're going to go 50-50 to get the normal tone. That's not good. Like this. Okay guys, so this is a very uh, beginning kind of tutorial or something like that for the beginners to play Japanese flute. If you cannot get it, you can feel free to comment and I can uh, give you a bit of tips. But here we go, I'm playing a very simple, uh, or you can say not simple, but very beginning beginners welcome to play kind of song. It's very, very, very slow and you can basically follow along, concentrate on how good the sound you make and try to follow along. It's very easy. Just I'm just using the lower notes mostly. Okay, so enjoy.
Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.